The judges have decided. Anthony, you do. about this man so going up against these guys yeah I, I couldn't I couldn't slack you know I really had to be strategic competitive I wanted to represent where I was raised and being brought up by a single mom the wolf actually represents my character kind of throughout the season observing everything and planning my attacks Wow Chris Anthony I love the tattooing and I love the story that it tells that woman's face is beautiful and the markings the space that you have really work and they're really beautiful the hot and cold juxtaposition of the colors are great. It's actually my favorite sleeve. Wow. Wow. Anthony, bring it up, buddy. Even though I had an open canvas, I really wanted to give him something that he likes as well. He has to wear it for the rest of his life. So during the competition, Dave, you did mention you wish to see more of the dragon, the full body. So I gave you that and then some with hopes to redeem myself. Rock. And we went, Psh. He just passed out on yeah. there. Just tell me if you want to fall over. Say it loud, OK? He's not going to come back at all. He's done, done. Nah, he's done. I'm going home. Nah, I don't know about that. What about tattooing yourself? One hour to go, everyone. One hour remaining. I'm not going home off of a chump tapping out. I don't get down like that. What the f man? I guess Rug got a tattoo himself. You know what? I'm not scared to tattoo myself. Let's get it cracking. I'm going to tattoo a traditional style rose. I just need to show the judges I can saturate some black and I can show contrast. It's real right now. You guys started out in Georgia, right? Mm-hmm. I started in 95, and honestly, I had a lot of difficulty finding placement in life. I've been in trouble all of my life. Finding tattooing just been the only escape from trouble that I've had. Two kids tried to rob me in front of my house, and I got shot. Bullet went through my hip and my spine. Getting shot was like the least of my concerns. The only thing I really cared about was I going to be able to tattoo. My doctor told me, like, you're lucky. I was in the hospital for like three days. Got back to work within four days. I definitely feel like I got a second chance to prove that I have what it takes to be here. I'm not willing to let that slip away. Craig. The crosshair pattern with these circles sits nicely on the body, and I just think it's one of the more creative, conceptual ideas that we've seen today. I wasn't planning on going home today. Overall, man, the circles with the plane coming out of the circles gives it a very cool, old, war and propaganda feel. It shows a lot of artistic creativity. This is a very competitive, strong way to come out and try to play the game. Thank you. You rat bastard. This is scary as hell, but I got my technique down pretty damn quick. You even have shady. F you. Kevin's like, hang on while I get the drop shadow on the fin. That's really going to make it pop. I play the silhouette of a hammerhead shark. You know what the hell it is. You know how their heads are. So I do my best to make that legible. All right, Kevin. It's a legible image. You got the silhouettes in the background, the ones in the distance. The ability to shade it. You found a way to get darker areas, lighter areas. You were even able to put a little bit of foreground in with a tiny little guy at the bottom. Thank you. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Kevin. Thanks. Oh, uh, yeah. You're finally getting to work, bud. I'm the only one here that has a tattoo since I was picked on the team. So I need to make my tattoo stand out. Taking the different approach with the zoomed in view so I can get all of the details in the head and show precision. Phone face. 
you chose to go with more of a zoomed in view rather than the whole body. I wanted to do something more dynamic, something bigger that you could recognize from a distance. The details you get in the beak, the little textures you get in the blue feathers on the crown of the head, it's really nice, man. You have tricks up your sleeve. You're able to put in strong color. You're able to put black where it needs to be to make the other colors vibrant and strong. I am pleasantly surprised. Thank you. Super nice, dude. Thank you. I've been underestimated my entire life. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I'm here to do. If they want to sleep on me, let them. That's smooth, man. Thank you, buddy. Today, Team DJ had to tattoo Zeus, the god of the sky, Frank. This is my favorite tattoo that you've turned in so far. Thank you, sir. The proportions seem to be accurate. The face itself is gorgeous. The shading you have in the musculature is very smooth. It goes from very dark and rich, nice and powdery, fades out to the skin. You show vast, vast improvement. This image is powerful in itself. I mean, this is a samurai, and tigers are known for just being big, strong, powerful animals. I think we've got it in the bag. Eight Master's never seen anything like this. No ifs, ands, buts. I'm going to do a phenomenal piece. This is 100% a TJ Pool tattoo. I'm taking a W. This is going to bring it home. TJ, you're up next. Bring out your master canvas. Let's take a look. Of course, I'm going to do black and gray, because that's a my trick, everybody knows my family is what strengthens me. But I want to show something powerful, something with strength. Show a tiger, samurai, sitting, you know, got two temples, kind of looks like he's about to go out to war. Nobody else is going to put up anything like this. Well, listen, man, I think you do a hell of a job here. You pull off a lot. You really make this whole tattoo come alive. You could run your fingers across some of those areas and feel it. And that way, you hit it out of the park. For me, I wish that you had more of that carried up just through the helmet. But looking at the overall tattoo, this is one hell of a back piece. One of the first things I was told when I started working in a tattoo shop was never trust another artist. I didn't come here to make friends. I'm here to win for myself. I'm going to try and make you proud, Christian. You make you proud, Chris. Chris. I love your take on space. You made it consistent and illustrative. I think this kid's just starting to realize how good he really is. Well, whatever's happening, the trajectory you're on, keep doing that. I'm an artist at the core of everything that I am. I've always been creating my own work since I was an apprentice. I'm not copying a photograph. I'm super nervous about this tattoo because it's realism, and you just have to be more concerned with being exact than just creating. Looks great, but are you feeling on time? All right, a little pressed, but... Because you've got to make that match that quality now. Yeah. That's a good simple part to hold on to your face. Cool. This thing is taking forever. And I have the smallest tattoo. Tim. It's gone. You show a side of you that's probably really scary for the back line. This is what we're looking for here, someone who can do everything. Appreciate it, guys. How do you like it so far? You get nervous? I, I got nervous when I didn't finish my tattoo last challenge. I can tell you that. I still got tattooed a day. I don't know how. My biggest sacrifice coming into this competition was leaving my two-year-old daughter. I depend on her to motivate me every single day. I can hear my daughter saying, finish this tattoo. Fun. Really, really impressive, smooth black and gray. This whole back section of the veil is beautiful. All those folds and creases. The top piece comes over the top here. You have her robe and her arm set back. Rich, black, dark. See how it makes a tattoo look? Beautiful. I think the West is trying to shake me up, thinking that it's going to be hard, because it's a lot of circles. You see has some pretty bold-ass lines on it, so. Yeah. It looks really good. The circle, it has to be smooth. It can't have any bumps. and has to connect exactly where it's supposed to connect. I've been tattooing for a while, but it wasn't until eight years ago that I could just finally like everything else. Yeah. Just tattoo. I really haven't been able to shine here and show off myself. I'm a very strong tattooer, and I'm going to show that today. It's funny. It's like I make my own hours, mm -hmm. but I work more hours than most people still. That's the best way to be. It's like if you love something, do it. Jarrell. Now I know that you can lie. Your four circles that go around the globe are really nice at the thickness that you do them, and you keep them consistent. Thanks. Man, what's this job? Sebastian, you're up next, sir. I wanted to do uh, more of a portrait style to it, but you know, and it still has to get healed, so I don't have any control over that because my lines were not, you know, my lines are clean. <laughs> Listen, it's it's a great outing for you, Sebastian. Thank you very much, man. All right, man. 
I was the most inexperienced artist to win the title of Ink Master. Now I have to prove that wasn't a fluke. What I'm envisioning is a Polynesian approach, but also I'm big on portraiture. So on one side, I'd like to apply a portrait of a Maori woman, on the other side, a man. This is blowing my mind. I'm taking a huge risk with this design. It's unique, it's powerful, it's completely unexpected. And that right there is what's gonna get me the win. Anthony, you're up next. Anthony, what was the thought process behind this tattoo? Balance, intention, and unity. You know, I'm not a Polynesian tattooer by any means, but I wanted to pay respects to the culture and to the craft, how tattooing started. With the king's blessing of Polynesia, this is our journey. The style of tattooing that you do on here is very dark and it doesn't have a lot of loose skin breaks that we always look for. And with that being said, it plays so strong and so perfect still. <laughs> Looking at the tools and the symmetry, the way the tattooing tools are lined up with those circles that you have over the top are beautiful. The negative space that goes perfectly echoes one side of the ear to the other and brings it up to cast the, the shapes for the portraits to sit in are beautiful. And the portrait quality on these on the side of a head are top notch. I mean, that's winning right there, dude. You know what I mean?